New Horizons Seniors Committee consists of experienced Canadian radio personalities whose names are Arby Frew, Susan Earle, and Christine Bruce. Hello, my name is Susan Earle, and I'm the volunteer coordinator at CJNU 93.7 FM in Winnipeg, Manitoba. We are a community radio station mainly supported by volunteers. My main responsibility is the recruitment of volunteers and the matching of the many skills volunteers have with the needs of our station. In addition, I provide HR support, do project work, produce content, operate and lend my voice on air when needed. Hi, my name is Arby Frew. I work at CHLY FM in Nanaimo. I am currently the program coordinator, but over the last 17 years, I have worn many hats at the station, notably music coordinator and interim station manager. From the beginning, I have been involved in the technical aspects of the station, purchasing, repairing, and maintenance of the studio and transmitting equipment, as well as portable recording gear and editing software. I'm a gearhead, but I'm a Scottish origin. I like nothing better than to find the cheap gear that sounds as good as more expensive stuff. Hello, I'm Christine Bruce, podcast host of the Cookie Jar Grassroots Recipes for Change. We broadcast out of CICK 93.9 FM, which is a community radio station in Smithers, BC. CICK is the station that airs out of a 100-year-old CN train car. I like to see projects succeed. So when the NCRA was looking for people to build these training modules for seniors, I was excited. As a senior myself, I also appreciate progressive and inclusive attitudes. I hope that's what you feel we've created here. Welcome to the New Horizons Senior Project, funded by the National Campus and Community Radio Association, the NCRA. A big thank you to NCRA staff Barry Rook and Eloisa Valiz for their support and encouragement in this project. We also acknowledge the invaluable suggestions offered by Dr. Christine Gibb, Assistant Professor at the School of International Development and Global Studies at the University of Ottawa. And Charlotte Sister C. Farrell, CJSF producer and host of the podcast Speak Up, Listen Up, Act Upon. We also want to thank Glenn Ingram and Pam Hawson at CICK 93.9 FM in Smithers, BC, and the many volunteer DJs at CJNU 93.7 FM in Winnipeg, Manitoba, who provided the wonderful images of seniors behind a mic. These training modules offer suggestions for designing, recording, editing, and sharing a podcast, podcast vision and layout, and content ideas, the difference between airing live and pre-recorded, software and hardware for recording and editing, and different platforms where your podcast can be shared. Podcasts are not hard to make, and there's so much great content out there that we want to hear. We will provide videos to demonstrate our suggestions using a sample podcast called The Maps We Carry. Hopefully, these suggestions will inspire you to turn your creative, important, heartfelt ideas into a podcast. So what is a podcast? A podcast is audio or video content that is not constrained by length. A podcast can be aired live or pre-recorded and then broadcast on various platforms. A podcast is like good old-fashioned radio or TV, now offered in digital format for download over the internet. You might listen to or watch a podcast in a waiting room, while traveling in your car, or sitting around the fire with friends or family. With a podcast, you can enjoy the same episode repeatedly, whenever you want. It's a classic idea wrapped in a new word. Podcast Fun Facts. A podcast can contribute to your local, provincial, national, or even international community. Sometimes it's feel-good moments. Sometimes it's a learning opportunity that enriches the listener. Sometimes it's music sharing by a music lover to anyone who wants to listen. Just like radio, it's usually free. Some podcasters broadcast live and edit later. Some only edit a little bit preferring the live feel to polish performance. Some pre-record and edit later or not. Podcast content. There are two kinds, typically, music and spoken word. 
With music, the content might be musical selections with a few comments on the artist and the music. With spoken word, alternatively, it could be entirely spoken word. You might read poetry or offer advice or opinions on a topic. You don't have to sound like a CBC host. Have a warm, approachable persona. Find your radio voice by recording yourself using different timbres, speeds, and levels of forcefulness. Script or no script. If you can speak off the cuff, go for it. Otherwise, write out notes or a full script in advance and follow it. Better to not sound unprepared. Keep your reputation intact. Have an opinion, but don't be opinionated. Be vulnerable online. Be willing to learn something new. Lots of podcasters are sharing their expertise, experiences, and adventures to take listeners somewhere they might not otherwise go. Why not you? Which podcast format is right for you? If you want to publish ongoing episodes of a podcast, it's a good idea to consider your format in advance. Most shows follow one format for an average episode, but occasionally they use others. Depending on your topics and whether you have guest speakers, there are generally five format types. Common format types. One would be a solo host speaking informally, say reading poetry or a story or something. Two would be a host or hosts speaking formally. So for example, leading workshops. Number three, one or more hosts with solo or small group of interviewees. For example, a nonprofit group comes in and talk about their project. Number four, one or more hosts, a topic and an audience who respond to questions. And number five, one or more hosts, a topic and a panel discussion. Things to consider. Number one, consider your listeners' time as valuable. Number two, cut back on small talk. And three, avoid extreme controversy. More things to consider. Number four, follow a pattern so that you, your audience, and your guests all know what to expect. Number five, keep the length of each episode reasonable. Number six, play with your microphone to get comfortable with the sound of your own voice. More things to consider. Number seven, research your podcast topic and survey the competition in your genre. Number eight, visit senior centers, creative writing groups, and open mic programs. And number nine, follow the CRTC rules if you plan on putting your podcast on the radio. <music>